Adult cell cloning is a form of cloning that involves replacing the nucleus in a fertilized egg cell with the nucleus from an adult body cell. The most famous animal cloned by this method was Dolly the sheep. That's because Dolly was the first mammal to ever be successfully cloned when she was born in 1996. You don't need to know about Dolly the sheep for the exam. So first, the nucleus is removed from an unfertilized egg cell. This cell here is an unfertilized egg cell still containing its nucleus. In this first process, the nucleus is going to be removed. The nucleus is removed from an adult body cell, such as a skin cell, and inserted into the egg cell. So we're going to take the nucleus out of this adult body cell and place it into the empty egg cell. So you can see that we now have one cell made up of parts from two different cells. So the empty egg cell has a new nucleus from the adult body cell. An electric shock stimulates the egg cell to divide to form an embryo. These embryo cells contain the same genetic information as the adult skin cell. This is because the embryo is made from the division of this cell containing the adult body cell nucleus. The embryo is inserted into the womb of an adult female to continue its development. So we take this embryo and transplant it into an adult. A clone is born, identical to the animal from which the nucleus was taken. You can clearly see this in the diagram, so this lamb looks exactly the same as this sheep here. This is because it is genetically identical to this sheep. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE Biology course. See you there!